Hey, what's going on guys? So today we're talking about some new pens. Uh, I mentioned recently that I've been doing a ton of writing, um, working on tax stuff. I had an extension and uh, I kind of just put it off, put it off, put it off. And uh, after the accountant talked to me, he said, look, I need your stuff so I can get this done. It's very cool. So I've been cramming it all in the last uh, week or two and I've been writing a lot. And I took that opportunity to use a bunch of different pens. So these are two newer pens uh, that I had. These are from Kubi Knives. All right, if you guys are familiar, K-U-B-E-Y. I do have a couple of knives. Maybe I'll do a review on one of them, which I've been using. Uh, pretty interesting. Way back in the day, I, I think I mentioned this in the other video that I did, um, but they were like the first company to come out with a D2 folder for like 20 bucks. Way back when you couldn't touch D2 for less than $50. Now everyone makes something in D2, right? Um, but these are their titanium pens. These have Schmidt inserts. Uh, they have a couple different color variations between these two, but this one is the kind of green with blue accents, and this one is the purple with blue accents. These are solid titanium. They have a glass breaker on the ends. All right, and these are both ceramic, but you have the option to pick um, tungsten if you want tungsten, um, you know, glass breakers. Just pretty interesting. Uh, bolt action pens. All right, it's a short little throw, short bolt. I really like them. They're pretty lightweight, very very easy to use. Using these, you know, hour after hour, um, it, I felt no fatigue at all. There was no hot spots or anything. It's a really really nice setup. Uh, I like them. I definitely dig them. They're eighty dollars, I think, if you get them from the website, but they're like seventy on Amazon. Again, a couple different uh, color variations. I think it's a good looking pen. Definitely stands out. Now, I really do love these pens. The only thing I, I've noticed that was anything remotely negative is if I left it for a duration of, of time, like more than 15 minutes, and then I went to write with it again, um, I would get a little bit of a glob of ink, okay? Um, and obviously, because of that, it could smear. It only smeared once, but then I was conscious of it. And I was, you know, writing a little more uh, carefully, make sure I wasn't, uh, you know, touching it after uh, I wrote. But yeah, it's just one of those things, I don't know, I, I have multiple pens with Schmidt inserts, they're all, uh, you know, good quality, it's just one of those things. So I'm conscious of it, but it's just something, you know, I wanted to mention, obviously, in the video. But yeah, I mean, I have a, a fascination with uh, some different pens now for EDC. I am looking into maybe getting a new EDC organizer for the belt that holds a full-size pen, so I'm kind of... You know, going through a bunch of different ones to see which one I might want to carry. Obviously, something lightweight would be good because it's also going to be for a flashlight and a, a full-size multi-tool. Um, and this one of these might be a contender, you know. But uh, I just think they're really cool looking. It's really nice. Um, obviously, the glass breaker is not something you're going to use all the time. Uh, but maybe you could use this to poke things. Obviously, we're in a pandemic and people don't want to touch stuff. So maybe instead of like an EDC tool, you just happen to use your pen, you know, to touch things. Who knows? Um, obviously I would keep it away from the bottom point or part where you're you're touching when using the pen Anyway, that's all just wanted to uh, throw this out there for the people again looking for different pens for their EDC stuff um, It's cool. Like I said pop of color titanium lightweight works. Well uh, My only gripe is that little bit of uh, glob of ink, but I can always throw a different insert in there if I wanted to So that's all for now. Let me know down in the comment section if you have a particular uh, uh, pen brand that you like uh, I'd love to hear it. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.